The Mementos of the English Martyrs and Confessors for Every Day of the Year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. April 30th, The Pharisees Silenced. Father Robert Anderton, 1586. Judging from his youth that he would make short work with them, the examining Protestant Bishop of Winchester was surprised to find his arguments completely disposed of and the audience scarcely concealing their mirth and on the side of the priest. He betook himself, therefore, to abuse and taunt the priests with the foulness of Pope Joan and deliate on that fable with many words. To this, Anderton replied, the audience listening with eager ears for what the martyrs would answer. Although it is very easy to refute this fable, being the foul fabrication of heretics long since exploded, yet if it were true, surely, my lord, it was not for you to propound so absurd a contumely. Why? asked the other. Because, said Anderton, the basis of your faith, the citadel of your religion, is this, that you profess a woman to be the head of your church. Surely, whether we call her Pope Joan or Queen Elizabeth matters little. With what face, then, can you object that to us as an infamy, which is your special glory? How taunt the Roman see with that which you profoundly regard as the bulwark of your religion. The bishop, being silenced and not daring to utter a word in reply, was the laughing stock of all.